from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Four, three, two, one. Good morning and happy Friday. Today is Friday, December 11th, 2015, and our Friday morning weather team is here with your Campus Weather Service forecast. Let's toss it over to Quinn Lees to start off our forecast this morning. Good morning, Quinn. How are you? Good morning, Ryan. I have a poinsettia, and poinsettias mean Christmas, and Christmas means break. I'm here with our Weather Campus uh, crew for this Friday, December 11th. We're going to start off with your weather almanac today. We're going to have a high temperature in the upper 50s, and for this time of year, we should be in the upper 30s. So it's definitely going to be feeling pretty warm and toasty out there today. Our records for this time of the year are 64 and negative 2. Taking a live look over Beaver Stadium right now. Beautiful sunrise over Mount Nittany. We have a few clouds out there. Some fog has been around in the valley. It's been burning off, though, as we'll push throughout the day. Right now, we have a temperature of... 41 degrees under mostly sunny skies, and we have calm winds out there. Looking at your week ahead, we're going to have some fog, like I said, that's going to be burning off to give away to some clouds this afternoon. That unseasonably warm temperatures are going to continue as we move throughout the weekend, and we're going to see some rain push in for the start of your work week. Let's take a look at your wind speeds out there. We have calm conditions across much of the area, but if we look at Dubois up here, they have a wind speed right now of 12 miles per hour, so probably no fog right there right now. And right now I'm going to switch it over to Andrew for his, our next segment. All right, so taking a live look at wind speeds across much of Pennsylvania again, we have calm conditions across most of the state, but in places like Bradford, Franklin, Williamsport, we have some higher values with Wind speeds getting into the double digits down in Johnstown and Erie, but overall nothing too bad. Now looking at the live radar and satellites, you can see we have a few clouds across the region, like here at State College and over towards the east, while the southeast portion of the state remains clear. So, But the good news is we don't have any precipitation to worry about for this morning. But now looking across the entire country, and we have a little bit of precipitation up here in northern Michigan, also over Canada, but that shouldn't affect us for today. So now an eye on the future. Well, some snowfall. Do we have anything to worry about? Well, I don't think we'll need one of these anytime soon. Lots of zeros ahead. So again, this is an expanded view across the country. So we have some much needed rainfall in California, but nothing that will affect us. Now looking at the temperatures across the region, it's 41 degrees in State College, a bit colder. To the east, it's a crisp 31 in Belfont right now, 37 up in Williamsport, and then a warm 50 degrees in Indiana, Pennsylvania. So interesting start to the morning. But now looking at a broader view of the state, it's down to 44 degrees in Philadelphia. So for once, Pittsburgh is the warm spot of the region at 51. But now as we zoom out towards Canada, that's where the only real cold air is. And even there, it's not that cold. It's one degree in, in Churchkill, seven degrees in Yellowknife. But there it is, negative 24 in Baker Lake, Canada. So if you're looking for cold and snow, you're going to have to travel north this weekend. As we take a look at the temperatures, warmth is pretty abundant. It's 64 degrees in Memphis, 60 degrees in Tampa, even above freezing in Salt Lake City, Utah at 35 degrees. It is a comfortable 44 in Portland, 59 in Los Angeles. So nowhere excessively warm, but for this time of year, overall, it's above average. And now here is Vivian. Thank you, Andrew. For today, we're seeing some quite drastic temperature changes in the last 24 hours, especially in areas like Albuquerque, with just getting a little bit colder in Denver, a little bit colder in Salt Lake. Around the rest of the U.S., we're going to be seeing relatively high changes for the last 24 hours. For today, we're seeing slightly more change for the rest of the week. We're going to be seeing the weekend's going to be relatively warm in Pennsylvania, getting up in the mid and lower 50s in State College. We're seeing, over our visible satellite radar, we're seeing some slight cloud cover, nothing really too big to worry about in the areas of rain and precipitation. 
Other than this, we're seeing absolutely nothing in the state. A lot of cloud cover getting into Saturday and Sunday during the rest of the day. This is all going to be very nice and nice weekend for studying for all of your finals. Once we get to the end of this graphic, we'll see that we're seeing very little precipitation in any form for the next few days, getting into 0.1 inches in Bradford and nothing much for the rest of the state. Wave heights in our buoy heights for the rest of the ocean, we're seeing relatively low buoy heights right now, getting into higher ones later on. Your forecast for tonight, we're seeing 45 degrees, mostly cloudy, winds from the southwest at 5 to 10 miles an hour, pretty mild for this time of the year. For tomorrow, we're seeing really warm temperatures for December with 60 degrees, mostly cloudy, some scattered showers possible in the afternoon, wind coming from the southwest at 5 to 10 miles an hour. For this weekend on Saturday, we're going to be seeing the return to rec hall. Where it's going to, be going to be partly cloudy, 50 degrees, winds from the south, southwest, 5 to 10 miles an hour. For Penn State wrestling, we're going to be seeing good temperatures once again at the Bryce Jordan Center, partly cloudy, 63 degrees, winds coming from the northwest at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Your seven-day forecast first, we're going to be seeing pretty decent temperatures, 57 today, tomorrow mostly cloudy at 60. For Sunday, we're going to be getting warmer once again at 63. For Monday, we're going to drop down with some rain likely, getting down to the mid-50s. Tuesday, it's going to be partly sunny. Merry Christmas from our whole team. Thanks for that forecast, Vivian. We appreciate that. And Flynn's making his way on in. Perfect. There we go. All four of us here. We'd like to wish you guys a Merry Christmas from all of us. We've had a great time providing you the forecast here on your Friday mornings. Have a great weekend and a happy holidays. Okay, good. We have to go to class. Yep. Go ahead. You're good. All right. Good work, team. It was a pleasure to work with you guys this semester. It's been fun.